the jungle. A typical Tuesday. Today is different. Today, the jungle gets a special treat. Yes, the legendary blue crooner. Her voice calms the savage beast. Tames the surliest volcano. She even does experimental jazz. Yeah, I don't get it. But that's a story for another time. Ooh, let's sit up front. You are king. George? Uh, better view at back. But it's the blue crooner. I need to hear every exquisite note. Can you see the stage? I can't see the stage. George, we should move closer. Nope. George good right here. <gasps> it's starting! What's with this vibe? <gasps> uh, George? Now, Tiger? Not yet. Patience is the hunter's best quality, Weevil. After a loyal mustache. Watch out, jungle. It's Tiger Titheridge and Weevil Plumtree. There are hunters, and then there's Tiger. His collection of trophies extends farther than our animators can draw. Tiger's the greatest hunter the world has ever seen. Weevil is working on it. Batman hunters! Activate the monkey warning system. Hey, monkey! My word! George Stack Hunters! George, wait! They're after the Blue Pruner! Yank that vine, man! Pruner, look out! Are you okay, madame? Yes, yes, quite fine. But that voice. It sounded familiar. Bean up familiar. Mia. Tito. Tito? Blast! Grab Bertie. Talk about Tito later. Oh no. We lost her. Weevil, my feeble friend. This hunt has only just begun. That hunter's still behind us? <laughs> I'm sure I know you. No, no, me Toti. I thought it was Tito. Where? Me no see Tito in ages. I'm positive we've met before. No. Nah. <laughs> You'll be safe here. Oh, this is George's home. You know him? How? Oh, Ape no one hear that old story. Yes, Ape does. I mean, yes, I do. Back when George was just a wee boy, I taught him to sing. He was the best student I ever trained. You see, every singer has a true voice, one that comes from their very soul. And we were close to finding George's inner music. Yes, George, yes, you're almost there. Bravo, George! But this is just a step on the path to finding your song, George's song. But one day, George stopped coming to lessons and answering the phone and his mail and the doorbell. That's not how George remembers it! <gasps> George? George, stop, because animals laugh at George. They all laugh at George. <laughs> I can't believe I was fooled by your feeble disguise. It's not your fault, it's a cartoon thing. Otherwise, we'd also notice that sawing sound. What sawing sound? Exactly. <laughs> Hello, feathers. Sweet dreams one, sweet dreams two. Blue crooner! I'll never sing for a monster like you! I don't want you to sing. I want me to sing. Oh, my! He's full of jerky!
jerky! So much jerky! They say the Blue Crooner's voice is hypnotic. Let's find out how hypnotic. <laughs> I don't know how long we were out, but... Wait! Do you hear that? Don't hear nothing. That's what I'm worried about. Hello! 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 And no one pick up coconut! George, it's the crooner! George, you pretty so. George, it's hypnotizing! Earplugs tickle. It's coming from this way. Hey, let animals go, bad hunters. Where's the blue crooner? She's in my throat. You eat crooner? Help me, George! Don't be a dunderhead. I'd never eat as useful a bird as her. <gasps> Your siren song has no effect on us. We stick bugs in our ears. Very clever. But are your insect earplugs wearing earplugs? <gasps> Ooh, that's smart. You'll make my best trophies yet. <gasps> See what you got. First, me warm up. Do re mi fa so. La la li 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 lu lu. Mi ma 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 mo mu. Do re mi fa so. La 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 li li lu lu. Black block. Come on, man. Ready now. <gasps> yeah. Now that's a challenge! George! You're doing it! No king should sound like that. George, don't listen to him. Don't listen to anyone. Reach down. Sing the song that is deepest within you. Sing George's song. <clears throat> now it's been a nice intermission, but it's time for the grand finale. <laughs> You back for more? George reached down deep to the core of his soul and unleashed George's song.
George, you've done it. You found George's song, and there's no need to ever, ever sing it again. Uh -huh. But me not finished yet. Time for encore. No, that's really not. <laughs> Even the narrator's scared of this place. Hello, narrator? See? We don't have a choice. <gasps> I'm losing years off my life every minute we're here. Also, bones? Hello! And I'm pretty sure that one's from a dinosaur. <gasps> George's scared too, but this is what friends do. Aha. We close. No, no, no. She doesn't leave a footprint unless she wants to leave a footprint. Uh, it's a... trap. <sighs> no, it's okay. It's too late for Magnolia! Wait, run! Run for your life! I never should have left Harvard! <laughs> Maybe this bad idea after all. Hello, lunch? Wait! No, eat George, please! We only here because. Happy birthday, Ursula! <laughs> What is she? She's perfect is what she is. The apex predator, at the top of the food chain, the fear that walks. <laughs> yeah. No way she's a better hunter than you, Tiger. It takes a big man to admit when he's outranked, but that woman beast is off the charts. Oh, by the way, that's you, down there, way at the bottom. Oh, second place feels like a, a dirty shirt stained with failure. But I won't be wearing that shirt for long. What are you going to do, Tiger? I'm going to put you in terrible, terrible danger. Joy Driver and Oh, oh. <laughs> please, please, please be on vacation. Fury takes no vacations. Do you see the beast? Has she hurt you yet? No, well, not yet. <laughs> but she ate all the meat! Good. Why good? Because that means you're next. So many teeth. <laughs> run, man, run. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Good. Fear will lend you speed. Welcome, Ghost Walker. <laughs> Gaze into my eyes. And let the sacred fury transference ceremony begin! What happened? I must have eaten too many lemurs last night or something. Breakfast on legs. My favorite. Hey, I said... You're supposed to run in terror so I can hunt you down and eat. Ugh. I don't understand. Hey, that was a complete sentence. So was that. <gasps> I never talk in complete sentences. What are you looking at, pussycat? <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay, Herman, you all done. Next! Patricia, long time. So, how new boyfriend? Ah! Wait, I need your... Help? Stop! I'm not going to hurt you. Yet. Did you just speak good word sentence like George does? Ursula, I've never seen you so not scary. 
Stop! Stop them, please! See? All Earth's Lucky George's arm by now. And she'd certainly never say please. What happened? <laughs> Tiger stole my jungle spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Man alive! Oh, the fury! I can barely contain it! I don't like it, Tiger. <laughs> Bad because I love it. Her ferocity courses through my blood veins. Combined with my years of hunting experience, I'll be the ultimate predator. <laughs> Delicious. Sea Weevil, there's no downside to this. I'm unstoppable! But, Tiger... Uh... Hey! Didn't you hear me? Tiger stole my meanness! Help me get it back! Yeah, George promised to help, but must clean out Shep's trunk first. Elvin's really our nature's vacuum cleaner. No! You'll help me now! <laughs> ah, pickles! <laughs> You can't bully us anymore. Fine. I'll make someone else help me. Oh, hey. That where Tookie Tookie be all this time. <laughs> this had better work. Uh, Ursula. That's weird. Usually I'm more like... Ah! Wait, you're not scary anymore. Tiger stole my animal rage. Now help me get it back or I'll... Ah! First, no. Second, I'm trying to get all these fear stains out of my lab coats. Hmm. I wonder how those got there, huh? Huh. Who used to love scaring the sweat out of me, huh? Huh? Help me right now or else... You sound like a broken coffee grinder. Fine. I'll do it myself. Okay, bye. Don't let the door tree hit your not-so-scary butt on the way out. Great. Now what am I going to wear to the science ball next week? I don't need them. And when I get my rage back, oh boy, they're going to get it. All of it. <laughs> Who is that? Who said that? Why am I shivering when I'm not cold? Why does my stomach feel like it's in knots? Why are my knees shaking? And what's with this cold sweat? Wait, is this what fear feels like? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so this is what being George or Magnolia or Ape feels like. Still hungry! Oh crap! Please, please don't eat me! Fire in the hole! <laughs> Sometimes I really hate it here. Whew. New tiger, extra scary. He's terrorizing the entire jungle. Like I used to. Why didn't you tell me being hunted and bullied and scared all the time was so terrible? Our screaming didn't give it away. Then why did you save me? Um... Good question. Oh, not saved yet. <laughs> you have to help me. Tiger's gone full barrel. Yeah, we know. Okay, small pink man. How we take fury out of Tiger? And give it back to me. <laughs> Let's just save the jungle first, Ursula. Tiger used a magic sweat lodge to steal Ursula's natural fury. That's not 
even a thing. Oh. I'll provide the sweat. Well, I suppose it'll do. Now what? We lure Tiger inside and... <laughs> Tiger shall a smell stupid plan. Now Tiger shall a hot stupid plan makers. No! We have to stand up to him. That's how you... <laughs> No one bullies friends except for Ursula! Tiger, you're back! Oh, my pride was my downfall. The pain is magnificent! No, it's not! No, it's not! It seems like the horrible, feral, terrifying magic was in Ursula all along. We go now, before she finished with them. Good idea. She'll still be hungry. Sorry, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I, I got caught in traffic. Did I miss anything? Oh, it's over? <laughs> Behold our hero, George, king of the jungle. And if... <laughs> Huh? What? George, what's the matter? <laughs> Mama Pee Baby loves with Wormy. Beep, 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 beep. What's gotten into you? Oh, George feel like he been through ringer. Crying at the drop of a hat all day will do that to you. George, not moving again until someone gave George foot massage. You're acting strange today. Is something up? Oh, yeah? Maybe something up with a George! Hey, George hungry. Maybe you should relax. Get a good night's sleep. No, 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 no. George just needs snacks. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Lloyd Glotz, no fit right! George, your stomach! Ah! No look at George! No look! Strange cravings, hyper-emotionality, aches and pains, and of course, that. Bad George, uh -huh. Don't interrupt me when I'm poking, son. Here, lick this. You don't think... Sweet! Got us some broccoli. Ape, it's time! Time for what? <laughs> Time to drink plenty of water, take lots of vitamins, and let nature take its course. Good luck! Hmm. Bugs think he not telling whole story. You're worrying for nothing. Come on, Jungle King. Let's get you that foot massage. George has been on feet all day. Ah! What the? Hey! <laughs> Came out of... George! George, this is something all Jungle Kings go through at some point in their reign. George not understand. Laying an egg is uh, perfectly natural. No, no. Uh, sometimes our bodies go through changes. Uh, how to explain? George scared. <clears throat> Let me help. Oh, about time. George, laying an egg is something every Jungle King does. There's little George inside? No, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's going to be a magical Hoopa Hoopa bird. Centuries ago, Hoopa Hoopa birds were jungle enemy number one. They were unstoppable. Until an ancient jungle king discovered their secret. They really, really, like really don't like laying eggs. A deal was struck. The birds agreed to stop their jungly tongue terror. In return, each jungle king would lay one hoopa hoopa egg and teach the hatchling to be king and just. Ah, look, who are we kidding? To teach them to stop licking everything. Seriously, it's gross. George, call you Benedict. 
or poached or scrambly. <gasps> George, no, over easy. Benedict it is. George, take good care of the egg until it hatches. But what happened to Jungle while George eggy daddy? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Don't touch me with your paws! <laughs> Magnolia! While you're on poop paternity leave, Magnolia and Ursula will ask you to join Jungle Tree. You smell like dumb. <laughs> yep, everything will be just fine. Yeah, George, sure, nothing go wrong. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah. Oh, way! What a crazy adventure! Almost done reprogramming! George want crazy adventure. Oh. <laughs> One jungle kraken's bad enough. What three? Oh, oh, George help! <laughs> I can't believe we were inside a computer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Uh, oh, how much longer George need to be Eggy Daddy? It's a very important job, George. Nobody wants a giant hooper hooper bird growing up without the right guidance and runaway elephant train. Must have been panicked by the robodactyls and the krakens. Come on, Sir Isaac of Newton. These elephants are made out of chocolate. <laughs> George, what go? George, misadventures. <laughs> Don't forget the nougat in filling. Back in minute, okay, Egg? George, promise. <laughs> Elephants delicious. <laughs> Whoa! Central lateral incisor. Ready for your towel? Most yummy rescue ever. George, where's Benedict? Cuspid, do you realize what this is? <gasps> the best breakfast ever? No! Don't you know your jungle history? It's a hoopa hoopa egg. And with the help of my growth acceleration beam, it will soon be a full grown hoopa hoopa bird. I'm going to teach it every evil trick I know. It's going to be so laser. What? Just trying it out. It's got to be here somewhere. No! That big. Benedict! Benedict can't hear you, George. <laughs> oh, we found your egg. <laughs> Correction! I found your egg, and this wonderful creature was inside! Benedict grow up so fast. Yes! And look what I taught him to do! <laughs> Let the reign of Pungy Terror begin! Everybody okay? Yeah, besides being grossed out, George Mean. How do you stop something so wet? Ursula Sticky! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. 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 Enjoying the tongue apocalypse? Why can't you just use your claws? Ew! No, George, take tongue for friends. Benedict's faults as Eggy Son, or George's faults as Eggy Daddy. What are you waiting for? Lick him! Lick him now! Benedict what sandwich? No? Okay. Time to warm Eggy up. Who's Eggy Daddy? Who's Eggy Daddy? Eggy Daddy is George! George, he remembers you. George just glad he not used tar. Oh, never mind. What are you doing? I am your father. Remember what I taught you. Yes. Yes. Feel the evil. Feel it. He 
evil is fun, isn't it? Isn't it? No. Benedict must be good bird. Must use tongue to help, not to destroy. <laughs> Look at him. He obviously... <laughs> See? Benedict won't be good. Yeah. <laughs> Shows you have... <laughs> but what... <laughs> I don't think he likes it when his two dads argue. Benedict, tell George in Chicago what made Benedict happy. And do you, Dr. Stuart Pamela Chicago, take George, King of the Jungle, as your jungly wedded husband? Aww. What? This is ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as Pamela. <laughs> oh, sure. Go for the low hanging fruit. <laughs> Okay, okay, I do, I do. One month of wedded bliss later. George, what did I tell you about picking up after yourself? George and Chicago have conversation already. George go out and earn bananas, well. I know, it's just I could use a break. It's been weeks since I've been able to do some real mad science. <laughs> You're hungry again? George, it's your turn to feed. <laughs> Sorry, George must patrol. Oh, no, you don't. You're always on patrol. It's like you don't want to spend time with me anymore. <laughs> what am I saying? I want my life back. George, know only one way. Chicago and George raise Benedict properly. <laughs> <laughs> George loved Benedict, too. Bye, Benedict! Bye! <sighs> okay, Chicago. Go back to lab now, and George, go back to jungle. <laughs> Chicago, what wrong? I think we made good parents. George thinks so, too. And if you tell anyone I said that, I'll destroy you! Oh, just like our honeymoon. It's time to get dressed! <laughs> Orangu pants activated! With these pants, I'll have the strength of 1,000 orangutans in trouser form! Let's see those jungle bullies push my buttons now. <laughs> Back off, six legs. That's my egg salad. <laughs> you cheated. No going over the top. <laughs> I like eating sand, huh? <laughs> Do I ever? <laughs> Yummy! Oh. <laughs> Time to give Mother Nature a spanking. <gasps> oh, hi. Don't mind me, just doing science. You know, underwaterology stuff. That wasn't me. Ah! Oh! Who's a wimp now? <laughs> Bring it on, horned face! <laughs> Strike! <laughs> you. How do you like eating stuff that isn't food, huh? Ah! Fuzzy little bombs! Boo hoo hoo! Wowee! Is there anything your orangu pants can't do? No! They do it all! Now you're in for it! From who? George? Oh, he's strong, all right. But is he orangu strong? I think not! Oh. Uh. he just walk? He could have been here an hour ago. I don't know, okay? I don't know! Hey, fat doctor! 
stop beating up animals! Well, thank you for finally showing up! It's not like I had important stuff to do today or anything! Time to crank it! Impossible! No one's that wrong! Where you wore yesterday. What? No, that. How do you know that? Wow, that only took forever. I... But I guess that's what happens when you hit every tree in the jungle. Admit it, George. You have a tree problem. But George always hit trees. I'm ranting here. George, you need help. Science help. According to my calculations, George spends over 12 hours a day about to hit a tree, hitting a tree, or hitting a tree again. It hasn't stopped him from being a good king. Not knowing basic math didn't stop me from being a scientist either, but it doesn't mean it was right. You don't know basic... Trust me, George. I make you better king. But first, we need some science data. Okay, George, swing over here. I can't stop watching. I know, it's so hypnotizing. The way his face just stretches. How does help, George? Hello? What's uh, It's our, uh, you know, data and stuff. We need more data just after we watch this again. If I learned anything at online university, it's that you can't do science without a laser or two. Yes, but some lasers are extremely dangerous. You do know there's different kinds, right? Of course I do. There's red lasers and there's blue lasers. This is a red one, so it's completely safe, scaredy cat. It'll scan George as he swings and makes all sorts of charty graphs. Okay, George, go! It okay, George fine! Okay, George, there's absolutely no trees to hit here, so just swing across the clearing. You gotta be! George radiates something I like to call the Magnolia's Arbor Effect. He can't help but swing into trees. It's like he's a wood magnet. Trees always love George, ever since George was little. Wait, George wants to play too. But he has to stop, Tickle. George very popular when George was young. Why George wrapped in tinfoil? You're like a balloon that never lost its static electricity. And as every scientist knows, the only way to get rid of electricity is with more electricity. <laughs> George happy the way George is. George love tree kisses. Pish posh poosh. A few hundred gigawatts and you'll never hit a tree again. I have to agree with George. If he prefers to remain as he is, you must respect that. Um, hello. You tried to brainwash him only five episodes ago. <laughs> anti time. anti time. anti time. Uh -huh. Touche. <laughs> Yes! I was foolish to think orangapants would be enough to stop George. Have you seen him recently? He's totally jacked! I need to find some new combination of animal and clothing. Something fabricticians have only dreamt about. Cuspid, fetch my finest cyber yarn! George, it's okay. The lightning's gone. Come on out. Come on. George, feel... <laughs> Different. A billion volts will do that. Let's see if it worked. Go on. Swing! Uh. Uh. No hit tree! George never no hit tree! <laughs> it's okay, George. It's okay. It's better than okay! It's great! I'm the 
Yes, Marty! Wow. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch him pass those trees. Doesn't quite have the same ring. George miss his tree kisses. Dookie, dookie! Scamper away! <laughs> hey, stop fighting animals, Doctor! First, how'd you get here so quickly? Second, who cares? Because I'm sporting my new gorilla sweater! George, teach you lesson! Oh, really? And what would that be? Grammar? Personal hygiene? You're not qualified to teach! <laughs> this is too easy! <laughs> it's like you're not even trying! In fact, I don't even need my gorilla sweater! George, no understand! <laughs> that went better than expected. Now, where were you? <laughs> For my discovery of the Magnolia's Arbor effect, I feel a Nobel Prize would be... Ow! Oh, man, that... George? What happened? You happened. Somehow you made George as weak as a very weak kitten. George must go back. Stop, doctor. Okay, okay. I'll do some science and figure out what's wrong. It's because he's not hitting trees. <laughs> Ridiculous! There's no way hitting trees made George strong. It's the only thing we haven't tried. Now swing! Oh. See This is dumb. Face G no make him muscle. Have you been working out? No, but I figured out what happened to your strength. No mere researcher does that to a PhD. Uh, it's uh, tree vitamins, George. They get slammed into your cells every time you hit a tree. <laughs> Magnolia's right. George's near constant dose of exotic tree vitamins gives him strength far exceeding your average ape man. Swing, George. Swing and hit as many trees as you can. George can do that. George, miss. Just hit a tree! Oh, George can't! For the love of! Hurry! My tree vitamins are wearing off! Hit harder than it looks! Why is it so hard to hit a gap? George, hit tree soon! <laughs> hey, stop! That's weird! <laughs> Jungle love George again! Um, <laughs> I just got this sweater, and the first thing you do is rub greasy jungle man all over it? That'll never come out! George thinks sweater ugly! <laughs> Tree kisses do make George strong! Good. I'm glad. I had to hit a lot of trees to figure that out. Am I missing any teeth? Um... Oh, no, no. Uh, too bad.